Hello everyone, this is RG Ayushi and today we are going to talk about stroke. Stroke is a sudden illness which can attack your brain and it can happen to anyone at any time. You know, if proper medication is not taken, this may also lead to premature deaths or you can also suffer with lifelong disability. The best way, the best treatment is to be aware about it and that's why we're going to talk about it on the official page of Fever FM with me, RJ Ayushi. And today, we also have a very prestigious person right here. We have Dr. Manish Chuk. Uh, Manish Chuk, who's a consultant and director uh, from uh, Sri Gangaram Hospital, Delhi. Sir, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction, Ayushi. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, sir, uh, we're talking about stroke today. So, uh, to begin with, my first question would be, uh, what is brain stroke and how severe is the disease? like all the other diseases one of the major thing which is one of the major diseases which is hitting the population right now is stroke um, okay. stroke is a stroke is basically a global health problem and basically it's leading cause of right now in the present scenario or not not even present scenario otherwise also right now as per the latest survey of guidelines of 2018 or 2019 stroke yeah. has become the leading cause of death at and is at ranking number three. Okay. Besides cardiovascular diseases and um, communicable ones. So it has surpassed the cancer and all other diseases. So basically it's now become, uh, and the problem is stroke is basically when there's sudden damage to the brain, whether it's some sort of bleeding in the brain or some lack of blood supply to the brain, it is called a stroke. Mm. And it suddenly appears like a bolt out of the blues something of that kind it happens and doctor tell me one thing like how how do we recognize if someone has a stroke what are the symptoms look for stroke basically if one very simple notion has been put for or uh, put forward or basically a very simple statement that is fast f a s t that is any facial drooping or facial deviation any okay. arm weakness Weakness in the arms or weakness in the le uh, legs or anything like that. Sudden hmm. slurring of the speech or not able to speak. And if you have any of these symptoms, you have to, the third is fast FAST. The third is it is time to rush to the emergency. That is to a comprehensive stroke center. Hmm. There's no point wasting time because in Indian population, most of the times what a normal person thinks, probably I might have slept something like this. And probably I, my some of the nerves got pressed and something. This is what we usually hear from people. True. People usually think that probably I was sleeping with my arm under my head. And probably after that, my arm was slightly not working. So I thought probably some nerve got pressed. So I thought I'll wait for a day or so. And that is the time when you get the treatment that is already gone by the time patient turns up mm. in the hospital. Mm. And this is a very common statement which I very usually hear from. A lot of people. True, true that. So, uh, doctor, tell me how can stroke be prevented? Look, stroke is basically again a lifestyle disease. It's not exactly a lifestyle disease, but again, the diseases which lead to stroke are lifestyle diabetes, hypertension, hypercholesterolemia, that is bad cholesterol, and mm. raised, uh, raised blood pressure. And now basically all these things lead to stroke, but basically we have to define what kind of stroke they lead to. Yeah. I, there are two types of strokes. That is hemorrhagic strokes in which there's hemorrhage in the brain. That is some bleed, some rupture of the blood vessel of the brain. It may be due to some aneurysm. It may be due to high blood pressure. It may be due to some bunch of abnormal vessels in the brain. The second part is the ischemic stroke. Ischemic stroke is because of the lack of blood supply to the brain. Now, lack mm. of blood supply can uh, can to the brain comes when there is some clot which comes into the blood vessel and blocks that blood vessel which supplies that particular part of the brain. So that can come either from the neck or from the heart or from the uh, increased coagulability of the blood itself. When the blood is very thick, that is due to hyper patients who have very bad cholesterol levels, who are diabetics, the blood vessels are bad, all these things. Mm -hmm. But doctor, then what are the treatment options for a stroke? So treatment options, again, first of all, as soon as the patient comes to the emergency, first, the first thing we have to 
evaluate is whether it's a hemorrhagic stroke or a ischemic stroke. Hmm. Just get an immediately a CT scan done or an MRI done. If it is a bleeding, if there is a bleeding in the brain that if that if it is an hemorrhagic stroke, then the treatment is totally different. That is, we can treat it uh, first. We are, then we have to evaluate the cause of the bleed. Hmm. Whether it's hmm. hypertension, where is some abnormal balloon in the blood vessel that is called as aneurysm which has ruptured, or there is an abnormal bunch of blood vessels which has ruptured, or it is just plain some of the old, old people and diabetic people who have very bad blood vessels. One of the blood vessels have given up. So that is the hemorrhagic stroke. Now coming to the, now the treatment is as per the cause. Now coming to ischemic stroke and ischemic stroke. Uh, which I have not told earlier, constitutes about more than 80% of the stroke, approximate 80% of the ischemic, of all these strokes is ischemic strokes. So right. ischemic strokes are, yeah, and ischemic strokes treatment depend upon what exactly, how early the patient presents to us. Mm -hmm. The early the patient presents to us within the golden pe period or the golden window period, that is the treatment time for ischemic strokes. The more the, if the patient presents after a day or so, time is lost. Now coming True. to golden period, there's first four and a half hours, we can give some thrombolytic drug from the artery itself, from the vein itself, and we can dissolve the drug, uh, dissolve the clot inside. If, the, if there is a large vessel occlusion, basically a big vessel in the brain is occluded, then the option is we can go inside, do an angiogram, take out the clot, which is called as mechanical thrombectomy, or basically taking out the clot by mechanically capturing the clot and taking it out. So this is mm. exactly what is mechanical thrombectomy. And mechanical thrombectomy, the initial window was six to eight hours, but now that window has been extended up to 24 hours. Yeah. So this is exactly, this is the part of uh, ischemic strokes, which is, this is the treatment for ischemic stroke. But it's not that all the strokes require either IV TPA or mechanical thrombectomy. It all depends on what, what is the situation or clinical condition of the patient at the time of presentation and what is the time of presentation. So okay. entire thing, the entire thing of ischemic stroke, which we are dealing about, about the stroke day is the time of presentation. The more early you present, the earliest you present, the better will be the outcome. Okay. Okay. Uh, so doctor, tell me why there is so much discussion about time when we uh, talk about stroke. Look, the problem is with every minute after the occlusion of a blood vessel, 1.9 million brain cells die with every passing minute. We have yeah. billions and billions of cells in our brain. So with every passing minute, every minute, 1.9 million, 1.9 million, if you can calculate in approximately, they are approximately near about 20 lakhs. Yeah. 20 lakh cells are dying every minute. Therapeutic option is based on the earlier you open the vessel, the more you can save, the better. Jitna aap bacha sakte ho, utna bachao, that is the motor. Aisa nahi hai. It's not like that ki hum, jo area damage permanent ho chuka hai, usko hum khol denge to wo bhi thik ho Ji. That is, that is the beauty of the brain. That is called as plasticity. There is one word which is called as plasticity. Aap jitna bacha lete ho, that brain, that saved brain tries to take over the function of the damaged part. So unless until you save that also, you are not going to benefit the patient. Okay. Okay. Um, and doctor, tell me what is comprehensive stroke center? Comprehensive stroke center is a uh, center where stroke services are available 24 seven, 24 seven means you have, if the patient, you have services available for hemorrhagic stroke as well as ischemic strokes and you have facility of giving IV TPA that is thrombolytics through the vein and also you have mm -hmm. the facility which is running around the clock for mechanical thrombectomy also so that no time mm -hmm. is wasted. So patient okay. does not have to shunt from one place to another. You, okay, we don't have the facility for mechanical thrombectomy. You go to some other place. If mm -hmm. the patient lands up in a hospital just at the borderline of the window period, suppose a patient lands up in a hospital at uh, four and a half hours after, after the onset of symptoms and patient lands up in a hospital, which is not a comprehensive stroke center. So what happens is patient, they don't have the option of giving him medicine, uh, IV thrombolytic. 
so they have to immediately if, even if you have done the diagnosis that the patient has an ischemic stroke then you don't have the facility for mechanical thrombectomy you have to refer the patient to the higher center so during because of this transferring a lot of time will elapse before the actual treatment starts and this yeah. lack of time will totally change the treatment outcome so that is a comprehensive stroke center where all the facilities are available under a single roof single all right yeah. thank you so much doctor for enlightening us and you know helping us to know about stroke so much it was lovely interacting yeah. with you dr mani thank you and you know everyone who's watching this interview i'm sure you might be thinking ki why am i talking about this but i just want to tell you one thing that it's high time that we talk about this and we realize that how serious this disease is you know 29th no, yes it is 29th of october is recognized as world stroke day worldwide world stroke. yes yeah. and and it's really important that we now take care of ourselves our near ones we have to one. do this because in our lifetime one in every four person will is going to suffer from stroke minor or yes. major so that is that is that is the reason for this awareness program because in his or her lifetime about any people you know around every one person out of four is going to suffer from stroke oh my god so it's high time we get aware of it yes yes it's it's very important to fight against stroke now and to take yeah. care of your so thank you so much doctor once again for interacting with thank us you. and thank all you. of you i hope you this info, interview was really informative for you so please take care of yourself and keep listening to fever 94.3 fm main hu aapki rj ayushi jo lati hai full on khushi